Hey guys, it's me for Pokemon. I'm here to bring you a brand new character review for Marvel Strike Force, and I think I'm getting closer to figuring out how to use a green screen. I uh, I have a new setup now. I'm at my computer, except I have a green screen behind me. I wouldn't expect this in normal videos, but I'm gonna try it out for these kind of videos. And uh, I do have a light here. I don't know that how I make the green screen better. I don't think it makes the green screen better, but again, we're gonna keep experimenting with these videos, and one of these days, I'm gonna figure out how to use a green screen. Today, since cause you know, we have the Star-Lord event coming around the corner and everybody's really excited for Star-Lord except for me cause I can't get him. Uh, I'm gonna talk about one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Today we're gonna be talking about Drax. So Drax is an unpredictable taunting attacker with rapid attacks that drain health. He's hero, cosmic, bio, protector, and guardians of the galaxy. Drax's first ability is Knife Slash. He'll attack the primary target for 250% damage and 30% drain. Nothing to really write home about here. The drain's not necessarily strong enough for you to really feel that. You know, you're never like, oh man, Drax really drained a lot. I'm really glad he has drain. But you know, it's there, I guess. I guess it kind of helps with his tankiness, but he's not really dealing a, a lot of damage. So to then drain a small amount of his little damage isn't really helping out Drax. Drax's first skill is fast reflexes. He'll gain taunt plus one to two counter, and then he'll gain defense up for one to two turns. This is a okay skill it used to be drax really got a buff uh in the closed beta he used to not have the taunt on fast reflexes he used to only have his passive taunt which we'll get to uh that really made him not that useful made him interesting but not all that useful uh with this passive it allows him to be a little more dependable as a tank but there's a lot to not necessarily count on here one to two counters defense up one to two turns there's a lot here where you're like man i really hope drax feels like not dying today so it's really hard to use drax reliably the taunt's nice he's very tanky he'll be able to survive through it most times but it's just not one of the best taunts in the game especially when you compare it to things like captain america's drax's ultimate is good fighting good fighting not great fighting just good fighting He'll attack the primary target for 270% damage and 40% drain. Chain to 1 to 5 additional targets for 210% damage and 40% drain. So the damage on this skill is pretty good. Another thing to note, the percentages are higher than Punisher's. Just to, uh, just to rip on Punisher a bit here. But again, this is, a, this is his damaging skill. This is really the most you're going to get out from Drax offensively. But it's not all that great and again drain on low damaging skills isn't all that incredible so drax it's a good skill but it's not enough to really save drax from being mediocre drax's passive is destroyer because of course we have drax the destroyer so on spawn he'll gain taunt plus 20 percent increase to drain so does that mean all his 40 percent drains turn into 60 percent drains Kind of confusing, not sure how that adds into things. Is it 20%? Does everything just do 20% drain? I, I don't know, just, is it already accounted in? So that's a little weird with Drax. So, you know, just, hey, you get more drain as Drax. Uh, but the biggest thing to know from there is he gets a taunt on spawn. It allows Drax to kind of help out a lot of teams. Like, for example, when you're going against a Karath, you know, he can taunt one of the opponents you're going up against. So that means you can attack them even if the tank taunts. But when Drax spawns, he already has a taunt. So Karath can't attack anybody else except for Drax. That does give Drax a nice place in the meta. He allows a lot of those cheeky moves to not come off in the first turn. Uh, but it's not... It doesn't exactly carry well throughout the battle. You'll probably remember in a lot of my tier lists, I kind of put him in the S tier. Um, you know, he. the more I think about it, the more I realize he's sort of a B, A tier character. Very tanky. He excels in that. His spawn taunt, great. The fact that he has fast reflexes and can taunt, also great. He has a little bit of drain, great. It allows him to be more tanky. But just offensively, he he's really lacking, especially when you compare him to characters like Captain America, who's just incredible, or Crossbones, who can tank and then has his massive AoE. It's just I don't think Drax should be your first pick for a team. I forgot to note, you farm him in Arena Store and Blitz events. So that's been my review for Drax. Overall, an A-B character, very tanky, lacks on the offensive front. But what do I know? I am just a 16-year-old. I hope the screen screen works. Signing off, guys.